I'm Gail. I'm originally from Dallas, Texas, but I moved to Nashville quite, it's been a minute, honestly. I moved, I started going back and forth when I was 10, I moved when I was 12, and now I'm 17. I was making country music when I was in Texas, just one that's what I was surrounded by, and that was just kind of what I was doing naturally. There's only like so much of the experience of the music industry I had when I was in Texas. But a lot of the stuff I did was like farmers markets, I've done rodeos, sheep seller conventions, a lot of parking lots. And then when I started going to Nashville, I kind of started getting exposed to different genres, even just more of like a folk Americana, just people doing what they did naturally. And I kind of found myself going for more like alternative pop leaning things. I don't know what made me want to sing. It was just something I was always kind of doing. Um, I would always like rewrite nursery rhymes and I just always loved performing for people. But I remember a specific moment, I was taught about scatting in school and I was singing and I came home and I was singing to my mom and I was scatting and my mom had never heard me scat before. So she was like, what are you doing? And so she started like showing me other music and I specifically remember when she showed me Aretha Franklin. It was like a 15 to 30 minute compilation. It was just her singing. And I just remember in that moment feeling something that I've never felt before. And like it was, it was a feeling that I could sit in genuinely for hours and I just remember in that moment completely dedicating my life to music, like making the decision of like, this is exactly what I want to do with my life. And so I just started doing a bunch of like Aretha covers, Anina Simone covers, Joss Stone, like started kind of doing more of like the soulful power house vocals at like 10. I could not back that up. I could not do Respect by Aretha Franklin, but did I do it anyways? Yes. Um, my inspiration for songwriting honestly kind of changes per idea sometimes. Most of the time it's lyrically driven. Um, I like kind of having an idea or a concept of what emotion I'm trying to capture before I do melodies because like the vibe, like a melody can sound happy but if I'm saying a sad thing and sometimes that could be cool like having the juxtaposition there like that but sometimes like I want that to be like a purposeful thing like sometimes it's a conversation like somebody says a word and I'm like huh oh. or there's times I like I definitely am the type of person to kind of like sulk and like stew and things and like especially like things that have happened to me and I'll just think about it over and over again and like sometimes I'll just say something in my head and I'm like oh that can maybe be something I get you know, I've had a lot of time to like work on music and really like try my best and give it my all. And so it's like one of those things where it feels uncomfortable, honestly, because I'm out of control. This is not something that I have control in. I can't like make people like my song. I can't make people listen to it. But I also, I get comfort in the fact that like all I can do is try my best. That is literally all I can do. Even if, even if none of this works out, I want to be able to look back and be like, you know what though, at least I tried. There's so many things that could possibly happen and there's so many things that could possibly not happen and that's really exciting. It's gonna sound a little cheesy, but genuinely you can put, you can do anything you put your mind to. It will not be easy, nothing's easy. It's really so unfortunate how the world is so difficult and existing is so hard. Like taking care of yourself as a human being is such a difficult thing to learn how to do, but you can still do it anyways. And that is a really empowering thing. Um, and as long as you like just try your best, it's literally all that matters. Who cares if anybody doesn't like it, if anybody doesn't accept it, you like it and what you want matters.